Hi everybody, it's Tatiana and my gosh, I hope that this view is decent because, <sighs> okay, what you see directly behind me are my coloring books and like printer paper, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about this shelf that is the next step down. Let me see if I can get this bit so you can at least see the shelf. That shelf. And on that shelf are all of the books that I own that I plan to probably, possibly read during the Blackout for 2018. If you're not aware, Blackout 2018 is something that has been started by and spearheaded by Denise over at Art Books Live. And it's, the goal is to read books only by African American authors for the year of 2018. Not just black authors, but actually African American. So authors like Marlon James, who is Jamaican American, would not fall into this category. And there's another author that she read who's actually African Canadian, who would not fall into this category. So it's authors who have African descent or are from Africa who live in the U.S. So, I believe all of these fit the bill. Denise, if I am wrong, just let me know in the comments <laughs> below. So, I'm going to just quickly go through these. I'm not going to give synopses, but I want to give those of you who are planning to participate in this with us um, an idea of some of the books that are at least authors who would fall into this category. This is by no means saying that I'm going to get to all of these books because I am not one of those who are committing to doing it for the entire year. I plan to start in February, but we will also be starting hashtag Read So Lit and Dee Dee from Brown Girl Reading is running that and I believe she has decided that the book for hashtag Read So Lit is going to be Tar Baby by Toni Morrison. So, I'm going to go through this. This is going to be a little bit of a lengthy video. Um, all of my videos are a little bit of a lengthy video, so that's really no surprise, right? Okay, okay. Starting at the back. I have The Darkest Child by Dolores Phillips. Red River by Lolita Tatami. This is the sequel to Cane River, also by Lolita Tatami, which I have a review of. I will link that in the description box below if you are interested. The Wedding by Dorothy West. And in case you're wondering, yes, I am purposely saving these books <laughs> to read in 2018. I will not, there's only one book that I, will, that I may hit before 2018, and I'll let you know what that one is when I get to it. Before You Suffocate Your Own Fool Self by Danielle Evans. And I believe this is a collection of short stories. Yes. Leaving Atlanta by Tayari Jones. White Teeth by Zadie Smith. Mama Day by Gloria Naylor. Queen Sugar by Natalie Basile. Or is it Basile? I'm not sure. Holy Rollers by Rashonda Tate Billingsley. The Inheritance Trilogy by N.K. Jemison. This includes The Hundred Thousand Kingdoms, The Broken Kingdoms, and The Kingdom of God. This is the entire trilogy in a bind-up. So this is three sci-fi fantasy novels. I also have the fifth season on Kindle. The Secret She Kept. Also by Rashonda Tate Billingsley, Midnight Robber and Brown Girl in the Ring by Nalo Hopkinson, The Ideal Wife by Jacqueline Thomas, The Street by Anne Petrie, Where Evil Sleeps by Valerie Wilson Wellesley. I can never say her, na her name. <laughs> Valerie Wilson Wesley, Forever Soul Ties by Vanessa Davis Griggs, Devil in the Blue Dress by Walter Mosley. Daughter by Asha Bendele. And Mistress Makes Three by Frances Ray. Binti Home by Nettie Okorafor. The Black of the Berry by Wallace Thurman. Lagoon also by Nettie Okorafor. 
Citizens Creek, also by Lolita Tademy. Oh no, I just damaged this book. But this is Seed to Harvest by Octavia Butler, and this is the bind up of Wild Seed, Mind of My Mind, Clay's Arc, and Pattern Master. I have already read Wild Seed, and I may get to Mind of My Mind before the end of the year. This is the only one. So if I get to Mind of My Mind, that will leave me with Clay's Arc and Pattern Master for next year, and that will also mean that I will have finished Octavia Butler's entire bibliography. This very damaged copy that was gifted to me, <laughs> it was a hand-me-down of Friends and Lovers by Eric Jerome Dickey. I have only read two other books by this author, The Other Woman, which I loved, and Genevieve, which it was okay. Then I have The Book of Phoenix by Nettie Okorafor. This is actually a prequel of Who Fears Death. I have not read Who Fears Death yet, so that is also on the possible TBR for 2018, unless I get to it in December. Blues Dancing by Diane McKinney Whetstone. Take Your Pleasure Where You Find It by J.D. Mason. Akata Witch, also by Nettie Okorafor. The Pride by Wallace Ford. And then I also have a few books on my Kindle that I would like to get to. And I will tell you honestly, they are on my older Kindle, so I don't know if they have been transferred over here to my newer Kindle. Um, one is, oh shoot, um, Breaking All the Rules by Rhonda McKnight, which I bought a while ago that I haven't read yet. Um, okay, Breaking All the Rules is over here. And I also have Camilla's Roses on here by uh, Bernice McFadden, which would be a reread if I get to that. But there are some other books that are on my older Kindle that I haven't transferred over here yet, so I'm not going to go through those. Uh, but yeah, that is the possible TBR of the books that I own for Blackout 2018. I will be doing another video of books that I don't own and books that are going to be released in 2018 that I want to get to during Blackout. So thank you all for watching. If you have any questions about the Blackout, uh, put them in the comments below. I may not be able to answer all of them, but Denise will eventually get to this video, and so when she does, she may be able to answer your questions. If you're not subscribed to her channel, I will link that as well in the description box below. Denise is doing all of her videos live from this point forward. She does every now and again a short video that she uploads to her channel, but yeah, I have just been having a ball with her live videos so yeah check her out in the comments below and subscribe so that you get the notification when she goes live because we have really fun conversations over there so yeah that's all that I am going to say in this video thank you all for watching and I hope you have a good week weekend whenever you see this video peace out